by President Trump, as you saw, is here in Philadelphia. Moments ago, he arrived at Philadelphia International Airport, making his way to the National Constitution Center for a town hall event with undecided voters. It is all part of campaign 2020 and the battle for Pennsylvania. Election Day, just 49 days away. Let's go back to that live picture from Independence Mall now, where demonstrators are starting to gather. There are also supporters of the president who are there as well. Joe Holden is at the National Constitution Center, where security is very tight. Hi, Joe. Hi, Jessica. In fact, we are inside the secure perimeter. It is us. It is police. It is the Secret Service, undercover security, and also a handful of demonstrators who have managed to ride out what have been a number of security sweeps. You see Philadelphia police ringing around the National Constitution Center. The president, of course, right now on the ground in Philadelphia. Air Force One touching down at the airport at 440, just about 23 minutes ago. The president in town for a town hall style gathering. It will start around five o'clock. Uh, make that as soon as he gets here, actually. We're told there will be 20 people in attendance. The makeup, the composition of this gathering is these are folks who are undecided voters. It will be a live to tape format, which means that this will air later on this evening uh, in, in the confines of about an hour. Now, earlier, President Trump told reporters he was looking forward to his trip to Philadelphia, adding the economic world is doing doing, in his words, unbelievably well. A thick perimeter of security in place here as 1,500 protesters and demonstrators expected along the area of Independence Mall. They are but a faint sound from where our, I am standing. They are in the shadow of Independence Hall, just a block from where I'm at outside the National Constitution Center. You hear singing and chanting. They've been playing musical instruments. It has been peaceful. Philadelphia police sources telling me there have been no incidents at all to speak of. Earlier in a virtual briefing, Mayor Jim Kenney talked about uh, what this visit means to the city of Philadelphia, especially cost-wise. Let's go ahead and listen to Mayor Kenney. It's certainly not something we were looking forward to doing considering all we've been through in the last number of months. Uh, but uh, presidents come and co come to cities based on lots of reasons. Uh, the other thing that's a little frustrating is it costs us a lot of money and we're not reimbursed for it. Um, and it does uh, have to reorder our police presence in areas uh, where normally they wouldn't be as heavily needed. And we're back live here along Independence Mall in Center City, Philadelphia, awaiting the president's arrival here at the National Constitution Center. It is largely unscripted, not sure beyond the program where he's going in, where he's leaving, but there are rolling closures along Interstate 95 as the presidential motorcade will begin its travel north into Center City, Philadelphia. We are here and we will keep you posted as things develop. Reporting live along Independence Mall, this is Joe Holden, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Okay, thank you for that, Joe. Stand by, we'll get back to you.